and I'm back um, and I'm in the middle of something I'll get to the vlog very quickly I just have to write down some numbers I have to balance my checkbook here in a minute um, And I'll add that up after I get done with uh, the vlog. You know, my wife and I had a talk last night, and I'm not, I, I've decided one of the positive things I can do is to tell you how to survive and prepare for what's coming up. And, Anybody that does not understand that there are some serious situations just around the corner, they, they either live in a bubble or they're not paying attention. Folks, our country is being run by a bunch of idiots. And due to that, what is about to transpire by the end of this year maybe the beginning of next year our currency is going to go poof banks won't be able to do anything because there will be no money this is by design the power brokers worldwide are trying to do this to all of us you know put us right under their thumb and push us down so I'm going to impart what little bit of wisdom or knowledge I have to you. You can pick or choose. And to all the folks that uh, are giving me the thumbs down, I, go ahead and keep doing it. At least you're looking at it. And I'd at least like you to actually look at the video rather than come in and... and uh, tap that negative button and leave. If you're going to go to the trouble to do that, go to the trouble to listen to me because these videos are only about 10, 12, 13 minutes long. And to those that do look at it and the thumbs up, I love you, God bless you, God bless the ones that give me a negative vote. Yesterday, I alluded to something in the vlog and on my podcast, I went into a little more detail. So, with a financial collapse like in the 30s, only this one is going to be much worse because in the 30s, you could at least still spend your money. We're going to be in a position that your money won't buy a thing. You know, I had a great uncle that traded a sack of potatoes he grew. This is the honest to goodness truth. South of Ringling, Oklahoma, south of Cornish, Oklahoma, he traded a sack of potatoes for 40 acres and got a clear title and deed to it. It's going to be worse than that. So what do you do to prepare? Well, first of all, you've got to secure your position. This doesn't mean go get a gun and I'm going to shoot everybody that comes around me. No, that's not what it means. I do carry firearms. I've had people ridicule me for it, but the reason I carry firearms, even though I'm a big guy, I'm crippled. And I will defend myself and my loved ones by whatever means I can defend them. Plus, I have a a federal, actual federal mandate to be armed at all times. I won't go into that. That was way before Oklahoma became a, a uh, Oklahoma became a constitutional carry state last year. Got to get another sip. Now, securing your position 
Security also means being able to feed yourself. The very first thing you need to do is make sure you have adequate water. Now, I made an illusion. Hang on a second. What you do is you go get you a plastic jug like this. This one says spring water on it. It's actually water out of our tap. I drink it. I drink it so fast that it doesn't last but a week. Do not store your water in a plastic container. That's the first thing you got to know. The polymers inside that plastic will leach into the water which you will ingest and then what happens it takes a little time for that to happen and it especially takes sunlight. What will happen is you'll drink it, you'll, you'll slack, slake your thirst, quench your thirst, but you're ingesting items that will diminish your immune system. So what you do is you take one of those big jugs and if you've got a gallon glass jug, that's even better. You fill it with a gallon of water, you put one drop of bleach a lot of guys advocate putting a, a lid full. No, one drop will be sufficient. You won't even taste it, really. But what it does, it will, it will go ahead and kill bacteria and most viruses that could be in that water. Then you find glass containers. Uh, you look behind me up there, you'll see olives, Brussels sprouts, little box of tomatoes. I, I eat a lot of pickled stuff. That's why I'm pickled. I don't need a drink to do it. I don't, I don't need alcohol. I just pickle myself with pickled veggie tables. Well, anyway, the glass jar, jars on those, like this, uh, this had Spanish olives in it. You rinse that jar out real good. You take that jug that you've, you've filled with water and put a drop of uh, bleach in it. You shake it up after you put the lid on, of course. And then you fill those glass bottles after you rinse them out when you're done eating them. It doesn't matter what size. Just a second. You fill them all the way to the brim and put the lid on. Then you shake it up and you set it someplace out of sunlight. Sunlight is what causes algae. It causes growth in swimming pools. Um, that's why it's so hard to keep a swimming pool clean. We put a, a pool inside our pool house we built a house up around it it's an above ground pool had it was really dark in there had shade shade cloth all the way around it and then we this year we took the solid roof off and put a plastic roof over it clear plastic just like a a, a greenhouse and guess what have to doctor that thing a lot because the sunlight causes algae growth <coughs> Well, anyway, another sip. Sorry about belching. Food storage. Get you beans, lentils, rice, oats. Keep them in their original containers. You can, uh, you can probably take a stick of Wrigley Spearmint gum and put in there to keep bugs out of it, but I'll tell you what's better. You go to a feed store someplace and you find cedar shavings. You can also get them at Walmart in most Walmart stores. Take a handful of those cedar shavings after you've packed a, say a five gallon tub or a ten gallon tub of square tubs those square tubs, sprinkle that all over the top of it, put the lid on and duct tape it, and you store that where you don't have rodents around, but that will further ensure 
no insects. They hate the smell of cedar. Well, that's my bit of advice for today, and I'll try to do it again tomorrow. I decided I was going to do seven days a week instead of uh, uh, six days a week. And I, after much prayer, I figured, you know, let's go ahead and give them some information on how to survive what's coming up. I love you. God bless you. And be... Come